first graders, my name is Ms. Boyle, and we're going to be doing some learning about reading together. Thank you so much for watching. I have really been missing my students. I teach at John Stanford International School as a reading teacher, and I also have a kid that goes to Kimball Elementary, so shout out to both John Stanford and Kimball Elementary. And I've been missing kids. I miss so many things about teaching. I think one of the things I miss the most though are how funny you guys are, especially first graders. First graders are super funny. And so I thought I would share a little joke because uh, you guys have all made me laugh so much. So I thought I'd share a joke with you. And here's my joke. Why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? Think about it. Here's your answer. Because he was a little shellfish. Yep, it's a cheesy pun. I'm sure you guys have good jokes too, and I would love to hear them when we get back to school someday. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is my little classroom here, and I've filled my classroom with flowers because that's one of my favorite things about spring are the flowers. This is my favorite flower right here. This is the, do you know what this is? These are daffodils. Favorite flower, they just look so, so friendly. They look like just a happy flower. If this flower could talk, I think it would say, you want to be my friend? I'm a daffodil and I love everybody. That's what I think daffodils say. So I have decorated my classroom with flowers and books because what's better than flowers and books? And we'll be spending this time together for the next few days as we talk about books. So we're going to work right now on one skill that good readers do, and that's wondering. Now, wondering means you ask yourself questions, you think, you have curious, you imagine, and you wonder about the book while you are reading. So here I have wonder about the book. That's what we're going to work on today. So I was going to go ahead and start with this book here. This is the book that we're going to wonder about. This is called Chameleons Are Cool, and it is written by Martin Jenkins and illustrated by Sue Shields. So here we've got the book, Chameleons. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about chameleons because you may be like, wow, I'm wondering what on earth a chameleon is. Well, a chameleon, as we can see, is a type of lizard. And it's a lizard that actually changes color, which I think is pretty darn cool. I think I agree, it is cool. And it lives, chameleons live on an island called Madagascar. So if this is Seattle right here, here is Africa across the ocean. And this island right here is called Madagascar. And that's the island that chameleons like to live on. So we're going to read this book called Chameleons Are Cool. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our first bit of wondering. What are you wondering? Now here's the thing. If we were in a classroom, I would get to see you wondering and I would get to hear you wondering and you would be able to tell me your wonderings. Unfortunately, we are not in a classroom. So here's what I want you to do. I want you, when I ask a question, to tell a grown-up if they're next to you. You can tell them what you're wondering. Or maybe you have a brother or a sister, and you can tell them. Even if it's a baby brother or a baby sister, you can still talk to them. And if you don't have anybody like that around, you can go and get a stuffed animal, and tell your stuffed animal, you could tell your dog or your cat or your fish. I just want you saying it out loud because I will not be able to hear you and I will not be able to see you, but I will be able to feel you. So I really want you answering it out loud so that I know that your mind is working. All right, so back to this. What are you wondering about chameleons? So go ahead and think. Hmm. Now, I want you to turn to whoever is next to you, whether that's an imaginary friend, a dog, a parent, and I want you to tell them, what are you wondering about chameleons? Using this book to kind of give you some ideas. Did you share some wonderings? I hope you did. I felt it. All right, I had some wonderings too about chameleons. Here I have my chart about what we wonder about chameleons. And you might have had some of these same wonderings. You might have had other wonderings. We're all wondering. 
Can't be wrong with a wonder as long as you're thinking about chameleons. So here are some of my wonders. Do they change color? How big do they get? What do they eat? How old do they get? Those were just some of my wonderings. I think I probably have more wonderings. I'm sure you had more wonderings too. We're gonna read some of the book and get started on our wondering. So once again, this book is called Chameleons Are Cool and it's written by Martin Jenkins and illustrated by Sue Shields. Chameleons are lizards and lizards are reptiles like snakes, crocodiles, and tortoises. There are about 4,000 kinds of lizards all together, including around 120 different chameleons. Just over half of all the types of chameleons come from Madagascar, a big island off the coast of Africa. Most of the others live in mainland Africa. So it says that a lot of them live right there in that island, but a lot, some live here too. You might have seen some chameleons in Seattle, but they don't live here, they're as pets. Chameleons are cool. Some lizards eat bananas. Chameleons don't. Some lizards walk upside down on the ceiling. Chameleons can't. There's even a lizard that glides from tree to tree. A chameleon certainly couldn't do that. So here it shows a gecko. Gecko's toes are as sticky as Velcro. Oh, look at that one, it looks like it has wings. The flying lizard glides on wing-like flaps of skin. Iguanas don't just eat bananas, they love all sorts of fruit. It looks like it's really peeling it, that's kind of fun. But of all the different kinds of lizards, I still think chameleons are the best. Chameleons are cool. It's not that they're all that big. The biggest one is only about the size of a small cat. It is called, uh, ooh, look, I gotta practice my reading skills and break this into chunks so that I say it right. It is called Austelitz chameleon, and it lives in Madagascar. <laughs> like the picture, <laughs> did, did the cat here, can you see the cat picture? The cat is not looking at all very sure about running into that chameleon. <laughs> says, whatever their size, chameleons usually get sick and die if kept as pets. They're much better off left in the wild. So in the wild means that they shouldn't be around humans and they should get to be outdoors. They can be really, really small though. The smallest one could balance happily on your little finger. Imagine a lizard right there on my pinky. It's called the dwarf Burgesia and it lives in Madagascar too. So we had some wonderings. Now as good readers, we have to think, well, what did we learn about chameleons? I think we learned some stuff. So go ahead and think about what you learned about chameleons. Let's do a quick book walk, see if we can remind ourselves. What did we learn here about chameleons? Yeah. What did we learn? We learned about their sizes. We learned about their, they can be the size of the cat or they can be really tiny. We also learned that there's a lot of different types of chameleons. I'm so glad we've done some learning already about chameleons. Let's keep reading, learn some more. And I suppose you wouldn't exactly call many of them beautiful. Their skin is wrinkly and bumpy and they've got big bulgy eyes. Bulgy eyes means they stick out a little bit like balls out of their eyeballs. And they've got big bulgy eyes while lots of them have the most ridiculous, oh, this is coming to my favorite page, noses. I think it's their noses I like the best. I'm gonna hold this picture, this book close to you so you can see all of the different noses on these chameleons. Which one do you think is the silliest looking nose? I know that's a tough question. Now we're wondering which nose is the silliest. I think, I don't know, this one that's the two horns, that one's pretty silly. Those are pretty great noses. Their mouths are pretty odd too. They turn down at the corners, which is why chameleons always look grumpy. So the mouths are kind of turned down like this. You see, you can see, and there's the boy doing it too. So now we all look like chameleons. Can you turn your mouth down? Look like a chameleon. Yep. 
All right, fellow chameleons, what did we learn? Go ahead and tell whoever's next to you, imaginary or real. I'm gonna do a quick book walk in case you're having a hard time remembering. Think about what we learned on this page. What did we learn on this page? Remember, their bulgy eyes, their wrinkly skin. Oh, what did we learn on this page? That they have ridiculous noses. And what did we learn on this page? That their faces, their mouths turned down. So, great, we've learned all there is to know about chameleons, check. Wait, no, we don't learn. We still have some wonderings to do. There's lots of things we don't know about chameleons. So, I still wanna know like, how do they change color? So that's one of my wonderings. I'm gonna write that down on my wondering chart. How do they change color? Do you have more wonderings? I bet you do, because I know you're a good reader. So why don't you think of it in your head? What are you wondering? Now go ahead and turn to a grown up, or a brother, or a sister, or a pet, or an imaginary friend, or a teddy bear and tell them, what are you still wondering about chameleons? I hope you said it out loud, because while I can't see you or hear you, I can feel you. All right, we're gonna stop reading this book, Chameleons, today, and we're gonna read it again, because you get to watch me again in another video. So we're gonna read the rest of this book in another video. But right now, it's time to do independent daily reading. I hope you're still reading. I know that school is an in session, but reading is always on. Not affected by Corona. Reading is still good. So we're going to do some reading together. Um, kind of show you. So you might have this chart, this piece of paper from your parents that your parents might have printed out. And it has the uh, I learned and I wonder. And this is what you're going to do to fill in your uh, your reading you're reading uh, when you do your independent daily reading. So it says directions, write one thing you have learned and one thing you are wondering about. So what you're going to do for this independent daily reading is I want you to pick a nonfiction book. So remember nonfiction book are those teaching books. You can usually tell their nonfiction books is maybe they have a photograph instead of a picture. And if it looks like they have animals doing things that animals would really do, like we probably wouldn't pick a book about bears taking a bath because Bears don't usually really take baths. But here, I've picked a nonfiction book about muscles. So whatever nonfiction book you pick, I want you to read it for 15 minutes. So have a grown up or maybe set a timer on your oven and set a timer for 15 minutes and I want you to do 15 minutes of reading. So for example, I would do 15 minutes of this book about muscles. So let's pretend that I just read for 15 minutes. And now it's the end of the 15 minutes, and I need to fill in this chart. So there's two things I learned and I wonder. But what if you don't have one of these? Guess what? You can use a piece of paper, and you can do the same thing. You can write, I learned, I wonder. So I have this piece of paper, so I'm going to write one thing that I learned about muscles and one thing that I'm still wondering about muscles. Because even though I full finished this book, I'm still going to have things that I'm wondering about. And wondering is what good readers do. So please go ahead and do your 15 minutes of independent reading. And then please come back tomorrow and watch the next video as we will do this again. And we need to finish reading the rest of Chameleons. There's still more to know. So thank you so much. Once again, my name is Ms. Boyle, and I am so happy to have spent this time with you first graders. Bye.